Hi everyone, my name is Carla Tafra and I'm a certified yoga teacher registered with Yoga Alliance. I'm here to show you a quick flow for lifters and you can do every time after your workouts, it doesn't take long and you just have a really great stretch afterwards. So let's start. I'm gonna have you come into what we call a downward facing dog. Your heels want to be reaching towards the floor. And first, you're just gonna walk it out to kind of test the waters, see how your hamstrings are feeling after that workout. See your calves, try to feel your hips moving, letting them loose. And then slowly, you're gonna stop the movement and try to push yourself away from the floor through your whole body, just pushing through your palms, trying to stretch out that back, lifting your hips up, slowly. And then when you're ready, you're gonna pivot forwards into a plank. Here, we're gonna include your core workout. You're gonna be clenching your core the entire time. That's also gonna help you with your lifting and recovery. Slowly, we're gonna come forwards onto your tippy toes and then lower down into a low plank. From here, we're gonna come into an upward facing dog, opening up your heart, and then slowly coming back to a downward pressing dog, pressing back and really pushing through your hands. From here, we're gonna slowly walk all the way forward. And standing in hip width distance, you're gonna grab your elbows and slowly relax your upper body, letting your hamstrings slowly stretch out by gravity. You can move your body left to right, slowly just dangling, relaxing. You can even bend your knees if you need to. And then for some shoulder mobility, you're gonna interlace your hands behind your back, stretch them out, and then just let gravity do its work. Slowly opening up your shoulders, especially after a tough shoulder session. This should feel really nice. Maybe even opening to the side, just kind of feeling the stretch. And remember, what you do on one side, always do it on the other. We're all about that symmetry. And then relax your hands all the way down, let them dangle, maybe even shake it out. And then slowly walk all the way back to your plank. Come all the way forward and go through your flow one more time. Coming all the way up. And then pushing back to a downward facing dog. And then slowly you're gonna step with your right leg in between your hands. And first we're gonna place our left knee on the floor. Lift ourselves up and kind of push down to feel the stretch in your hamstring, opening up the hip flexor, opening up your hip, even stretching the quad. And then placing your hands back down, you're gonna lift your left leg up. Stretch out the quad, really tighten it up. Feel your hamstring really working here, breathing into it, bringing fresh oxygen into your leg and then slowly reaching up with your right hand, stretching everything up, really focusing on your heel, being high over the ball of your foot. And slowly coming all the way back down, coming back into your plank, moving through your vinyasa one more time. This time, it should feel a little bit better than the first two times. And then repeating everything on the other side. First, bringing your knee down, placing your hand on your knee, and stretching it out. Always try to make it feel good. If you're feeling any pain in your lower back, come a little bit back up. We're not trying to cause any pinched nerves, just a simple stretch of your hip flexor. Slowly coming back down, lifting your heel back up, lifting your knee up. First, just stretching here in your low lunge, really activating your quad and then lifting your left hand up, stretching really high towards the ceiling and breathing here. And slowly bringing your hand back down, stepping back to your plank and going through your motion one more time. Inhale and then exhale, just push back. And then slowly bring your knees down, push yourself back and really feel your whole spine getting extended, especially after a back day. And you can place your left hand in center, 
threads your right under. And really enjoy the stretch in your lats, in your shoulders, in your traps. You can stay here for as long as you want. You can even lift your hips to kind of feel the different part of your back stretch. And then slowly come back and repeat everything on the other side. So starting with a low stretch and then slowly lifting up your hips. Maybe even shifting your weight to the left side a little bit more. Coming all the way back down. Stretching it one more time here. Walking your hands all the way forward. Trying to stretch out your armpits, your whole arms, and pulling your whole spine in both directions. And then slowly coming all the way back up. That's it. Simple and effective. I'm Carla Tafra, and for more content like this, keep coming back to bodybuilding.com.